In this tutorial, we will show how to generate a typical meteorological year, a TMY. In the database tab, you can find following buttons that concern import and generation of meteo data. Importing from a known format will allow you to use databases such as SolarGIS and PVGIS to import hourly data. You can query these databases using location names or by using the latitude and longitude coordinates. You can also import a custom file. This dialog allows you to search for hourly or sub-hourly weather data files on your computer, import it and convert it to a MET file for use in PVSYST. The TMY generation will allow you to generate a specific type of MET file, whose hourly dataset is a typical meteorological year. TMY are meteorological hourly data files constructed on the basis of a real measured data series. To calculate the TMY, weather data from a series of multiple years are used to approximate an average year from that set of data. There are various algorithms to make this calculation. The elaboration of TMY obeys a sophisticated standardized procedure. It usually consists of a juxtaposition of the selected months, chosen among 10 years or more of real measurements, according to several statistical criteria, and approaching average values. Each month's extremities may be harmonized. Using this procedure, a continuous year of data is generated. Thanks to their construction, the TMY datasets generally also include realistic extreme behaviors. They are constructed so that the whole year reproduces a typical meteorological situation for the design of energetic and architectural systems. There exist various norms and methods to generate TMY data but the rule of having minimum 10 years and the statistical approach on which the generation is based is common between all methods. PVSYS provides a user-friendly tool to generate the TMY based on hourly time series with a minimum of 10 years of meteorological data. The tool is only available if you have sufficient data to generate the TMY. By default, PVSYS does not come installed with such data. However, you can import this data using the known format button. The first parameter in this window is the site. Sites presented in this list are those which have sufficient MET files available for the generation. To be recognized, the MET file must correspond to the same site and contain a full year of valid data from January 1st to December 31st. As mentioned before, there must be a minimum of 10 strictly consecutive years. In order for PVCs to recognize the year number, the year should appear in the end of the file name. If more than 10 years of data from the MET files are available, the tool lets you select which consecutive MET files to include in the generation. The tool provides the option to choose the desired method to generate TMY. You can choose from the methods ISO norm, the Sandia method, and several NREL NSRDB standards. These methods differ mainly in the weight of certain weather parameters, it is also possible to use a custom distribution of weights. For example, in the method from the ISO norm, an equal weight is given to the daily global horizon irradiation, the daily dry bulb temperature, and the daily relative humidity. Once the year and the methods are selected, the TMY is automatically generated and the results are displayed by means of graphs and tables. The site comparison graph compares the multi-year average value for global and diffuse irradiance to the values from the month selected to compose the TMY. The second type of graph allows to compare more in detail the long-term cumulative distribution function to the selected TMY month for each available variable. Furthermore, there are two tables to numerically compare the long-term average of the selected TMY month. Here the display variables are the most relevant to PV systems global and diffuse irradiance, and ambient temperature. Once the desired TMY has been created, it can be saved as a new MET file by clicking on Save TMY. 